I don't have the accolades that connect to the performance of my music. I don't have the trophies that match how big the actual records are. The one Grammy I have is for Crack a Bottle. I couldn't even have that without him. You know, and that's why I have so much value for him, not just in, in my... Uh, in my career, just in my life, because he's the, he's a guy that one of my best friends. Because I can trust that he's going to be honest with his his constructive criticism when it's time to listen to the music before it goes out. He's the only person that did things that I wanted to do. He had the Marshall Mathers LP with 23 million records sold, with flags all around the actual the plaque, and I was like, "Yo, I want that. I want that kind of." Success. And I know I had to go door to door to get it because I'm not M. See, hip hop is black music, without question. And unfortunately for some people, it's tough to accept that you got a white artist that does it better than black artists. It is what it is. You know, and you could put either one, you could get whoever you feel like is the best black artist and stand them face to face in a room with, with M, and he will eat that alive. Right now, if you had them prepare themselves in whatever way they would have to prepare themselves to come to battle, and I bet you, I bet what I have, everything I have, that meatloaf, we put you right there. And 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 any other competition that we would put these artists in, he's obviously surpassed them. You know, there's points that they'll match, uh, like M and, and J.F. points. That was Live Nation, because he sold his touring career to Live Nation, they got to keep him hot enough to go get their money back. So they match him up with him, put them together, because he got momentum connected to his relationship with Beyonce and his, his record with Alicia. It makes sense. It makes sense that they, it's the Detroit, New York show, but it only makes sense to me because of business. It makes sense because him sold like 60 million records more than him. How you put them there like the equals? It's tough for me to say some of this and I sound like a hater, but I don't care. Chronicles 50 Cent, Tuesday, August 26th at 8.